hi guys good morning welcome back to my channel if it's your first time of watching or um bumping into this channel please kindly click the subscribe button um watch all the videos drop your comments if you feel there's anything you'd love to say um so thursday should be day 24 day 24 recap i actually think i'm actually wrong with the days though. I think I'm wrong with the numbering, but anyway, Thursday, you guys understand. Um, third with exercises, as usual, with their babies. You know, they took the babies to their arena, and of course, they managed to, you know, do their normal routine. Afterwards, it was time for food. Then, you know, come, you know, asked me to just discussing her side. Um, um, Toby was actually taking care of him, Alex's baby. Alex's baby, his baby too. The baby is actually Kendra and Cassandra. Then it was I, I know the camera just went to Lulu talking to Angel. Man, why was this thing with the guys in this house? Not just the guys, even the girls, always trying to bring in a third party to their issues, always reporting. The only they ever keep their mouth shut. They are always reporting. Cho 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 cho. Anyway, Lulu was with Angel. I was of course discussing them. Um, Anto with Angel that Anto changed since that end of house thing, you know, just wants to give us pace, like, you know, you know the way Lulu behaves now, that short man syndrome, always trying to feel like, why should she say so? You know, I it felt, it, I felt it was entitled, you know, the things the things Lulu said, I, I, I was like, what kind of entitled woman being is this? You guys came for a show together, you didn't, she didn't come to play boyfriend and girlfriend, if she doesn't want to, you know, he made his point and Angel was like, you know, I think what you should do, then Toby came in to Toby now said, I think what you should do is just fake, just talk to her, fake it, you know, and Lulu was like, I'll talk to her, but not now, so Toby was like, just, you know, just talk to her, just sort it out, so even if you guys won't get as close as before, just fake it, and Angel was like, I think you should do that too, remember the book, you know, Angel, Mr. Intellectual now, remember that book, something about slide of hand or something, and you know, Lulu was like, yes, I know, slide of hand. They brought out all the things in the books, in the book rather. And after a while, when, why we were talking, the engine now said, oh, when Toby walked away, engine was not like, oh, Lulu, are you going to use CC? I think you should get close to CC to get to her. And Lulu was like, lie, 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 God forbid, that would be double wahala for him that I don't even envy Toby at all. And I'm like, wow, woo. look at these guys, oh. Like the advice was for Lulu to get close to Sissy, so maybe Anto would get jealous or one thing or the other. You know, that one passed, and just stood up, Toby went out, Anika came, and then the next thing Lulu and Anika were just talking, dissecting all the housemates. Oh, do you think this person is strong? You know, Anika was even like, no offense. If they had if they had told her Lulu would survive in place of her, she wouldn't have believed it. You know, they just analyzed different people. Sha talked about every other housemate. Um, Teddy backed his babies and of course went to the kitchen area trying to make food. People were just you no know, moving about. Anto was also a different talk. So you know how you know how scattered morning is now. While some people would try to get and um, have their shower. Talking about shower, I know some of you insult me after this video, but now Nasabi, please, what's wrong with Anika? She's not the grip bath. She's not the grip bath. You know, yesterday I was watching, she had about 2 o'clock Nigerian time, which was 3 o'clock South African time. Why? And she's not a bath for night. She not go bath for morning, early. You know, go bath till afternoon. For night, where they say, I don't want to have my bath. I don't want to have my bath. I excuse it, she's aquaphobic, but come on, this is proper hygiene. You know, you're in a house with. Even after they have their paper, arena, and everything. Imagine after that exercise routine, make woman be not go bath. Plus all the sweat and everything. Anyway, that's for Anika. Then Big Brother now said they should gather in the lounge, that their babies need to go to the clinic to take some vitamins. Like 10 minutes later, Big Brother told them to gather in the lounge again and brought grown-up babies. Now, like I told you guys the previous day, I won't be able to post videos here anymore. Except you guys don't like me and you don't want to see me again. I saw one of you complaining, no, I said, if you don't like me, don't worry, then you probably want YouTube to disable my page. Well, I'm scared. I don't want my page to be disabled. I think I've put in so much work into this page, even though I'm not earning a dime from it. But, you know, it's something I enjoy doing. So if you want to watch videos, please, please, please kindly follow me on Instagram. The Instagram handle is Laura's Box. Laura's B O X X. You get to watch like the important videos there. If I'm not posting videos there, it means nothing significant happened. But if anything significant should happen, trust me, you'll find it on my um, Instagram page. So after watching this, please follow that page. 
you know, and Biggie brought big babies. Like when I mean big babies, some of those house, some of those babies were older than the housemates. Of course, Alex was angry. She complained and complained and said there was no way in the world she would touch those babies. Very irritating things. I don't know. It was supposed to be funny, but I was actually disgusted. You know, babies using pacifier, sucking butts, making noise, crying. Some baby like Dundee, and I don't know. Surprisingly, Bam Bam was actually very nice with them. I think people tried, but Alex, Alex is like, if I slap you, if I slap you, you just shut up. And the other one continued. It was actually disgusting, to be honest. I don't know how you guys, I'm sure most of you enjoyed it, but I actually did not enjoy it at all. Um, so, of course, that one just went on and on. And after a while, Biggie sent for the ninjas to take the grown up babies. I gave them the brief for the day. The brief for today had to do with um, it, you know, having a talk show. Uh, has to do with talk show, poetry, and music. You know, talking about um, responsible, living responsible, sexual education, the use of um, condoms, abstinence. You know, just basically um, sexual education. And so, of course, the housemates shared themselves into three. Some actually went to the singing session. Some went to the poetry session and the rest talk session let me now talk about the poetry session those in the poetry section were miracle ifu leo and alex the singing was um rico teddy a bam bam nina and sissy and the rest talk show so of course they stay practicing and everything and you know, so Sam, no, why do I do a reason? See, Nina, Nina was really flourishing yesterday. Oh. Nina was rapping. Like, even Rico, who formed the rap, did not even understand what he was rapping. He couldn't rap. But Nina got everything. She was just rapping. And then, and then, and then make it make sense. And, and like, look at Nina flourishing. Like, she was really flourishing, you know. They had their presentation on lockdown. They all had their, you know, everything. If I would say Jack Robinson again, Antoine and Lulu, they didn't even settle any issue. They didn't even talk about anything. They didn't even mention anything that was wrong with them in the last three days or so. And they just started talking and cuddling, not even cuddling, cuddling to the point they wanted to enter their mouths. Like this. At one point, Lulu look at Anto like this, like he has never seen her before. He look at her. And like, look at these people. Oh. After talking and gossiping, for instance, Anto yesterday said she was about to be a mess. I'm about to be a mess in this house, you know. I'm about to be a mess. Lulutu was saying, you know, very insensitive. I don't want to do this. I'm not going to. They didn't even talk about the issue. You see why it's not good to put your mouth in people's matter? Do not ever put your mouth in people's matter. You know, uh, okay, that one passed. Then at one point, Sissy, that was like towards brunch, Sissy dragged Toby. Sissy was washing and, you know, Toby was with her in the laundry room and of course they said talking again and Sissy was like you know you're being unfair now this is me going to help Sissy because you know she would never complete her sentence you can check the Instagram um, um, page for the videos you know you're being unfair if you look back in the next three months don't you think you'll regret all you're just doing and Sissy was, and Toby was like nope I'm not gonna regret anything. You said something. You said you said something that wasn't it at all. And Sissy said, hey, I think it didn't come out right. Toby said, This is not it. You're not taking responsibility for your actions. And you know, not this emotional blackmail. Like no way. You're doing this. You're doing that. I can't even go into it. No, Sissy would never complete a sentence. So me helping her to complete a sentence is not it at all. That's not the work I came to do in this life to help Sissy complete a sentence. So you guys should go and watch the video and have an understanding of what she was telling. To if you can understand though it's left to you and of course they went on and on about that and of course Toby didn't even beg Toby didn't bulge after a while the camera went up to Alex and uh, Miracle and Nina cuddling and you no know, sleeping now look at what has happened since Anto and Lulu got back together Miracle is now gradually coming closer to Nina you see this house eh? may God help them and you know that was what happened so um after a while, while they were um, having their rehearsals for the task presentation, I think some people were having lunch or pre dinner. You know the way they eat in this house. So they have their dinner most times 2 a.m. or 1 a.m. Um, so Bam Bam was talking to Angel. Angel was telling Bam Bam about Nika, the how he likes her Nika. And Bam Bam was telling Angel that initially she and um, Teddy A was just a game, but right now it's now very real. Like it's not even a game anymore. Everything is so real and everything. Blah 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 blah. Bam, 
now. Pamike is so, I didn't even, you know, Pamike is so clingy. She's always with Teddy A. Um, they're always together. I don't want to put, I don't want to say Bamike is so clingy. Extremely clingy, but I've just realized that I think they enjoy being gum gum to each other right now. I don't even know how these people went from being a joke or trying to just put up a perfect picture to being so emotionally attached. You know, even right now, when people are talking to Teddy about Bam Bam, Teddy keeps saying, but you know we like each other, unlike before. He keeps saying it, you know we like each other, I like her, she likes me. I cannot even count the number of kisses they had yesterday. Like rabbit. She jumps. She walks. She moves. Everything is kiss, kiss, kiss. I'm like, what is going on here? Making somebody just feel like they don't even have a bay. Anyway, back to that. So it was time for their rehearsal. And why, it was, why they were rehearsing for it, Rico just stay fumbling. You know, Rico could not get his rap together, and of course, people were agitated. Teddy was getting agitated, like, don't allow us to fill our wager. Um, Bamike was also getting agitated, like, no, 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 don't allow. Like, if you guys don't get your rap, we'll have to remove this rap. Then I was, by the time Nina woke up, she started messing up with her own rap, so it was hard for her to click. Now, Biggie told them they had five minutes to come into the arena. They went into the arena. That task presentation, Miracle did the presentation, but he made some mistakes, like some mistakes she may be nervous i don't know and talk show was amazing anika did a great job even though the accent you know like i've said if you know you cannot speak that accent just speak like me like you see i don't even know understand most times when Anto is even talking i can't even hear because it's too much for me i'm such a local babe so she did actually well too people like like the talk show was amazing lulu angel toby you know, they even went very personal people like um Anto said she got pregnant when she was 18 and the partner at that time abandoned her and she had a miscarriage so i think that was why you know initially she said she didn't want children so we talked about um how he started having sex at 12 and at age 17 he had his first sti gonorrhea you know and he was so ashamed of going to the family doctor he went to another hospital two years later the gonorrhea resurfaced at that point you know he he didn't mind and decided to like go to the family so that he could get treated properly you know they talked about the importance of um, condoms for those of you who always ask eh what's the big brother they teach this immoral thing let me tell you something if you put your mind down you'd learn a lot like yesterday was so educating like it was so 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 it was extremely educated like very 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 educative so you need to just calm down and listen i think most times they try to pass the message because yesterday they really tried talked about the use of condoms why you shouldn't use multiple condoms for those of them away they fear friction they actually did well it was time for the singing task and of course they were singing of course bam bam was supposed to sing the normal song and at one point i don't know what happened she just forgot her lines and now if you forget your lines what do you do you frown your face and just look for that I shape pepper and just add it and just turn it around and this girl was laughing and she was laughing she was looking at Teddy she was laughing she was looking at Nina at that point so Nina and Rico forgot their lines completely it was an embarrassment at that point I closed my eyes like I watched while, when they were rehearsing they had an amazing song like the song was sweet the rap everything was sweet and you got in here and you messed up if I was now telling you, I was now putting guarantee, guarantee, guarantee. So just like, you know, cover up the song when they finished. Of course, they started frowning. When you're supposed to frown, they didn't frown. They were laughing. They started frowning. So they just started pulling his face. Like, but like, I wanted to kill someone. The big brother said, hmm. So Teddy, what do you have to say about this? He said whatever it is he had to say. Big brother asked Rico, what do you have to say? Rico said this. He asked Miracle. Big Brother talked about how they missed their lines, how Miracle missed his lines, his um, line when he was doing his presentation, how Rico missed his lines, and you know, blah, 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 blah. Talked about the baby, um, commended Angel, Anika, and um, Bam Bam for handling the babies very well. Talked about the secret task, so though he didn't reveal who stole the baby. And at the end of the day, even I was on Twitter then, I'd already typed, they lost their witch, I already typed it. But somehow, to my surprise, and I was actually shocked. They won their wager, fifty percent wager. But Big Brother said they are being too careful, so he has decided to help them wager a hundred percent next week. So I pity the head of house next week. Go here and because already Big Brother don't have the wager their next week um, allowance, which is hundred percent. And of course, the, the rest came out of the arena looking happy. 
Teddy came out looking sad. We got to the garden, he hugged his girlfriend, they went in, they still laughing. You know, they talked about it. Trust Toby now. Toby was ready. Yabinina. Now, this thing is, I don't know what's going on. Toby's always Yabinina. The previous day, which was yesterday, I didn't even tell you guys. Joking Leo, but of course, joke. He told that she looked like a leftover food. She has to be like leftover food, and you're so annoying. And it's always entering her. Always, you know, the yabs are getting too much. I don't know if she, I think she likes it. She hasn't really, well, there's no backlash about it. So I guess maybe everybody enjoys the yabsha. So, because it was here being in, I was even being Bamike, and Bamike was being too defensive. I was like, so beautiful, you're just opening your mouth. I messed up because um, I was worried about Rico and Nina's line. I was like, mm. as far as I'm concerned, Bamike messed up because she took the gum, Teddy. Gum, gum, too much. Gum, 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 gum. Like, come on, chill. The good thing is, she doesn't stop Teddy from talking to other housemates. That's the good thing. He's like a free bird when he wants to walk away. But man, <laughs> they're everywhere. Even for chair, for small chair, for kitchen, they go sit down together. For small chair, when I only one person they sit down, I told they go sit down together. They're actually very everywhere, you know. And that one passed. They decided to make dinner. Rico was making dinner, assisted by CC, the housemates. You know, they scattered in the kitchen. Fun. Like for the first time yesterday, I for the first time this week, I didn't really miss the housemates who left like that. It was actually fun. It's just that trust me, it's been nice to have princess. Or do one in this mix, you know, so that'd be nice. The housemates remaining are quite vocal. You know, I know that there's no nomination this week, maybe that's why there's no bad blood. But you know, they are very chummy, they play, there's always something to talk about. They're talking yesterday, then at one point, so that's what we just came up and said, Wow, that you just saw you just saw Miracle and Nina flexing in the bathroom. The answer was like, Really flexing, what kind, what um, flavor did they use? Now, I was just trying to say that. He saw Miracle and Nina having sex in the bathroom using flex condom. And Anto had to ask what flavor. He said he doesn't know. And Teddy was and Teddy was not telling Bam Bam. Wow, Bam Bam was still letting you know. You know the previous day, I think Bam Bam and Teddy had a shower together. And I think they made out. Like just making out. Teddy was like Bam Bam was still letting you know. This was already having sex. You don't even know say this was done do for your since um, Saturday night. And you know, it was just fun, they talked and everything. Then after a while, CC took Toby outside and they started again. Another incoherent speech. Uh, you know, in the last two weeks, I started to go along with the flow. But today, I cried so much. <clears throat> I cried so much. You can ask Rico and Leo. Uh, Toby would not like, so what do you want? Um, yo, whatever is like. I'm like, yo, no, just leave it. Like, she would never. Okay, speak your mind. It was so difficult assimilating everything that girl was talking about yesterday. And of course, little emotional blackmail came in. You know, you shouldn't do this. I can't stay with you. I can't, um, we can't be just friends. I can't be friends with you. She would cry. You know, that first tears. That's, um, and you know, like, you're sounding like you're crying. She did that for like 20, 30 minutes. Then at one point, she now did one. So I can't forget that one. The last one was like, you see, she stood up. Um, <sighs> the Toby was not like, okay, come, come, come. Toby now hugged her. I was like, you know, I like you. Don't worry, I'll be sensitive to your feelings. This or that one from now on. And of course, our CB, they don't come back. Well, from what we saw yesterday, Immediately that happened, Sissy entered the house with a pet in her step, walking majestically like a new bride. Sissy that was looking dark with pimples, in short, in two minutes, the pimples disappeared. She was now looking lighter, fresher, her voice very loud. She was so happy. That's what man they make her happy like this. She was so excited and she was just, you know, talking and everything. And I can see Sissy, oh, any small thing she could just near to be. She went to see that where to be was, you know. It was just a fun day in the kitchen. So just very fun. She was actually glowing. After their dinner, they went to the room. They were all gisting. Of course, the guys were talking about sex and congee. So it was like, well, the girls in this house, they are not trying. Teddy said, yes, so the girls in this house are not trying. That even small massage, just to massage them down there. These girls would not allow them. He said, look, I just look at my bum, like my bum. He said, like my bum right now. Um, he said, like my bum right now. My bum can't do anything for me, but because I respect her brand and I respect who she is, that's why I've not had sex with her. Which is true. 
We all know that Bam Bam has given Teddy the green light number of times. Say so Teddy opened that box as if I don't do say, say we all know that. Do you understand? So it was like he respects her brand. That's why most times at night he always tell her, don't kiss me so much. Yo. Before I'll just wake up and stand and say, hey, give it to me. You know, of course we're all laughing. Lulu said his own. Toby was like, whoa, he doesn't even need the real, he doesn't need the full package. He just needs something small, something you no know, very small. He can but it don't food. We're all just don't if another. That one, I don't think she gets any. She's always so excited when they're talking about sex. If we're just giggling, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Even when she, was, when she was giggling, I was just in my room laughing. Like it was a fun night. Do you understand? Sissy was there with Toby. Toby was now massaging Sissy. He didn't even take Toby time to um, start his um, baby boy duties. Took Sissy's clothes off from the back and was massaging her. Massage down well. Sissy didn't want to leave that bed. She was looking for she was looking for ways to stay on Toby's bed. She was there. She refused to go to her room till about two a.m. You know, if it was even like ah, um, Teddy's like the freshest guy in this house, and she wants to watch Teddy and Bam Bam. Of course, before then, Bam Bam and Rico they were in the living room because Rico had already told Bam Bam, "You're my partner. You know, we need to bond. We need to act like we're together so that the viewers can see us." So I think they were bond. You know, they were talking, and maybe Bam Bam fell asleep in the living room. After a while, Teddy didn't see Bam Bam and he went to the living room. I went to carry his property like this, carried and dropped down the bed. You know, later, if we went upstairs, Sissy went upstairs, Leo and Alex, of course, on their own bed, kissing. And whether they are touching, I don't know. But they would deny to the whole world they don't kiss and they don't touch. Um, then, of course, Bam Bam and um, Teddy, you know, they always have midnight discussions. They discuss, I didn't even know what they're talking about. That's how it ended, you know. Not bad at all. No, yes, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. apart from the silly task? Um, it's just there. It was just there. Nothing major. Nothing, you know. What? So what's the evening picked up? So what do you, what, what what do you guys think about it? Um, when Sissy and um, Toby settled their issue, I, I, I gave them twenty four hours for the next quarrel. Let's see if they will prove me wrong. Hopefully, they prove me wrong. Um, what else? What else? Yeah. Lulu and Anto are back. Even this morning, they were doing their laundry together. Always very snug. Before, before Anto went to that room yesterday, it took her a while before she went to the luxury room. She was just with Lulu. So everything is, you know, everything is going on smoothly in the Big Brother house. What are you guys expecting? Do you want Big Brother to bring in new housemates, like fake housemates? What do you guys think? Um, let me just know your thoughts. Just drop it in the comment section. So guys, thank you for um watching if you're just watching like some people they watch half half in bits and pieces if you're just watching please don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed please kindly share my videos please thank you if you have anything you'd love to say please kindly drop your comments you're free to disagree with me just don't do it rudely because i can also trust me reply in a very rude manner um Follow me on Twitter for if you want to get information or the link to the live stream. I live stream important events like um, arena task, presentation, eviction show, nomination show, or if there's fights, any you know any action, I will live stream it. So if you want to get the information, you have to follow me on Twitter. That's where I post more on Big Brother. If you want to watch the videos, please follow me on Instagram. Every handle is called Laura's Box. L A U R A S. B O X X. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Um, I can't promise I'll be back here tomorrow. If you don't see me yet tomorrow, you probably see me on Monday morning after the eviction show to give you guys the weekend recap. So stay blessed. Have an amazing weekend. Be safe. Thank you. Bye.